Well, holy, 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 the Lord God Almighty. Thank you for inviting me to be with you again today. Let me set this music off. Uh, <clears throat> let us pray. Uh, Father, open the ears uh, that this video may uh, help many in Jesus' name. Now, as a teenager, I... I I had, I had grown up in the church, but uh, at 14, I turned away from it. I just didn't get anything out of it. I just have, uh, have a, 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 it just didn't have any appeal for me anymore. Uh, 14 is, a, is a, a tough age, even 13, you know. it's uh, All those ages right in there are tough ages uh, for kids, uh, some worse than others. Some go through it pretty easy. Too young for one thing and too old for another. Uh, got with friends uh, who drank all the time and uh, and my uncle had a had a garage, a, you know, a working garage and uh, he was up all night and and we drank all night and sat around there and smoked cigarettes and uh, <clears throat> it was something. And uh, was quite young then, and that's the way we grew up. Uh, that, that that was what I was used to, smoking three packs at Paul Malls every day. Uh, no one ever said a word uh, to me about either thing, whether it was drinking or, or whatever. I had a 61 Comet. Uh, that's a Mercury Comet. That's an old uh, little, little bitty car. Uh, a small car with a six-owner engine. Uh, in fact, the smallest engine you can get at it is 144, I think it is. But, uh, uh, it would go, uh, it would go to about 60 miles an hour, 55 to 60, uh, going down a steep grade, full blast, on the floor. If I was uh, going down a hillside and at full throttle, my cousin uh, who drank uh, uh, with, uh, who I drank with and, and hung around with, uh, had a a fast 426 uh, Hemi large uh, block engine. Uh, it was a 64 Plymouth. It would it would run easy 200 mile per hour. One day we we were hurrying to get uh, down uh, downtown to the bar, and uh, and we were on the, on a straight stretch uh, on the road. And, uh, normally no traffic at all. Uh, my cousin was uh, keeping his speed down so I could keep up. Uh, uh, seemed we drove uh, with the pedal uh, to the floor. Of course, I did because uh, mine didn't run that fast anyway. At least mine was uh, most of the time. At that time, we rolled up uh, on a flatbed uh, semi. My cousin pulled around and uh, and uh, in the left lane and floored it, and, and man, he just went whoosh, and zipped right on out of sight for me, and off he went. Uh, so not wanting to be too far behind him to get that drink at the bar, I pulled out in the left lane and, uh, and floored mine. Uh, on my car, uh, I felt very little surge, though, uh, if any. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> here I go, passing the semi. As I, as I got to about midway, the semi's here. And then I'm about halfway there, and there's another semi coming right at me. Man, there was no way to go, and uh, no place. I hit the brakes and yelled uh, for Jesus to help me. Jesus, help me! I just came. It just came to mind, and and out of uh, uh, and out it came. Jesus, help me! As I closed my eyes and locked my hand on the on the steering wheel at the same time. Uh, my eyes shut, and uh, I knew it, uh, I was, it was over for me. I mean, there was no place to go. Uh, I remember hitting the passenger door and, uh, and still holding on to the steering wheel. So I, I, I must have pulled down on it and started to spin and slammed me against the, uh, we didn't wear seat belts back, belts back in. It slammed me against the passenger door, but I still had a hold of the steering wheel. <clears throat> the car was spinning around uh, 
uh, counterclockwise and uh, and then it stopped I don't know if I went uh, three times or five times spun around it was seemed like it was forever but when you get your eyes closed you don't really know you can just guess at it I was headed back the other way and uh, uh, the opposite on the opposite side of the road uh, uh, both trucks were already uh, uh, out of sight uh, when my eyes opened. I couldn't believe I was still there, to be honest with you. So, uh, uh, now by, by this time, my my, uh, my cousin was probably already sitting at the bar uh, waiting for his beer. I, on the other hand, uh, thought uh, thought I would go back to, to his parents' house because we were some kids. And... Uh, and just wait on him uh, there. So I, I pulled into the yard and uh, was praying uh, to God. I was actually praying and uh, seeking the Lord. And uh, and uh, I was still shaking. Uh, their dog that never barks barked. And uh, my aunt came out and I got to see what was going on. And she saw me and told me to get in here. Uh, God must have prepared her for it. Uh, immediately, she got out her Bible and uh, started on me. But I was listening to what she said because God had my attention. Uh, she tore a page uh, from her from her Bible, which is what she had her genealogy on and and so forth there, and and she kept that. Uh, that gave her. Uh, uh, and then gave me her Bible to read, and I did read it. And uh, I didn't read it that night, but I did read it. And uh, the day God reached out, uh, that day God reached out to me. Uh, he was calling me uh, to change. Uh, I'm sure there were a lot of people uh, uh, praying for me. Uh, thank God they were. Uh, he was calling me to change. Uh, has he been calling you? He calls us in different ways. Depends on us. But he is calling you. He said he'd draw all men unto him, so he has to call you to do that. I didn't. Uh, I didn't change overnight, but uh, but that was the starting point where uh, where God came uh, uh, to my aid uh, when I called uh, out to him in in fear and distress. And that's what it's going to be like during the tribulation. There's going to be a lot of fear. And a lot of stress. You you can miss that though. If you come to him now. Uh, do you have fear and or uh, are you distressed over uh, the things that are uh, that are coming, or the things that are in your life now? You know, uh, you wonder what uh, you know uh, life is all about. Um, uh, now it was still, and now it still took some time for for God to get me uh, where He needed me to uh, to be in my heart, so I could uh, fulfill His plan for my life. You know, one day when I was uh, asked to church, uh, I could find no reason to, not to go. Now at that time, I was actually I'd already gotten married and I matured a little bit. Uh, as I crossed the threshold with my left foot, actually, and uh, on the on uh, in, in the church building, uh, God's love poured out. I mean, He just poured out His love on me uh, uh, in such a way that uh, I was just overwhelmed uh, with His love, and I returned it. And uh, I guess. Uh, to have an experience like that, I mean, it's just, uh, it's just so awesome. Uh, I guess, uh, I, I guess uh, that is what some call for uh, uh, love at first sight. For, uh, for me at least, it was uh, the first time uh, God opened my eyes uh, to how much He loves me. Now He had been showing me my whole life, and I'm sure others, uh, maybe even you, have seen that in your life, but. You haven't reciprocated it yet. He also loves you in the same manner. I mean, he loves each one of us so much. 
Jesus is the only man who beat the, he beat the devil so we could have uh, a better life. He is waiting on uh, on you to open the door and let him in. If you want to be my, open the door, just open your heart and, and invite him in. I can tell you there uh, there has been many times I have called on on him since uh, since that day, and uh, and he has uh, has taken care of me uh, each time. After 46 years now learning and. Uh, Growing and looking over over my life, I wish only that I had uh, been wiser sooner and uh, and just let him in into my life, uh, you know, earlier. And uh, I wish I, even before uh, I left the church, I wish I would have I would have found him and, and really got hold of him. I mean, it just seems like a waste of time, but you know, I I, I did learn from it and. Uh, uh, he's not a. He's, uh, his yoke is not hard. Uh, it's, it's it's so easy. It's uh, it's nothing. But we're 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 not always able to understand what uh, what we need and uh, even why we need uh, Christ in our lives. Uh, <clears throat> we have little or no idea. We uh, we are uh, we're in darkness. Uh, we we're, we're so far down in darkness. I mean it's. Uh, only Satan is in is in deeper darkness. He's the only one. You see, we were made a little lower than the angels, and then uh, and then we fell from there into darkness, and uh, and God made a way uh, to get us out of that darkness so He could have fellowship with us again. And He gave us a promise that we'd be joint heirs with Him. Man, what a what a blessing! Uh, I mean, He didn't have to do that. But he did it in love, and it's the same as you would for your child. You do stuff out for him for out of love, even though it's uh, uh, it, it, can, it can be a handicap for you. So, and at the at the end of at the end of this darkness is death and the lake of fire. But he wants to save us from that. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Jesus, for shining your light. Uh, in the darkness that I could see to be redeemed through you and uh, and to become joint heirs with you in the kingdom of God. I, I am just so thankful. Uh, this is your chance to right now uh, repeat these words uh, and ask him into your heart. Now that's just a prayer of repentance. Uh, Father, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart, Jesus, and make me the kind of person you want me to be in Jesus' name. It's a real simple prayer. Now, follow through and go get baptized because that's not saved, that's repentance. Uh, uh, go get baptized in Jesus' name and ask him to fill you with the Holy Ghost and power. And it's actually a fire. Uh, that's what it looks like when you're, that's what the Holy Ghost looks like. Uh, Jesus loves you when uh, when no one else will. Maybe you're down, uh, broken-hearted, or you know you, things just aren't going your way. And no matter how far in darkness uh, you dwell, He loves you, and He wants you to come to Him, and He wants to give joy back to you, where the devil's robbed you. Now, if anyone uh, needs a miracle in their life, let us ask now in Jesus' name. So uh, let us pray. Uh, Father, we come to you now, Lord, for each and every one, whether it's a broken heart, whether it be a, a bad marriage, whatever it is, Lord, you can heal that if we'll just believe and receive it. And so, Lord, we just come to you now in Jesus' name. Lo conde ka la ka che ka de conde ka te ba ko ka lo conde ka la ka che ko lo conde ba ka ska ra ka te conde ka de ka to conde ba ka la ka che la conde ka sa ko ko ta ba ka la ka ke in Jesus name Now if you uh if you believed when you prayed you'll have what you asked for and God bless you and I mean that
until next time.